Good morning students. I hope you are all set for your English class. Today you are going to learn about the difference between has, have and had. This is lesson 15 in your English grammar book. First, let's see what do has, have and had tell us. Let's read these sentences. Tanmoy has a bat. Tanmoy and Mahesh have three bats. They had five balls. So has, have and had. Why are these words used in a sentence? To tell us what a person or animal owns, has or eats. Like in these examples, we came to know what Tanmoy has or Mahesh has. Now let's find out the difference between has, had and have. For that, let's read these sentences first. John has a new t-shirt. The tiger has black stripes. I have a cold. They have a new car. We had burgers yesterday. They had a party last night. So here we used has, have and had. Now look at these examples once again. Had is used in the past tense and has and have are used in the present tense. Now let's read about the difference between has, have and had in more detail. This is the table that summarizes everything. With I, we, you, they, these and those, we will use have in the present tense. With he, she, it, this and that, we are going to use has in the present tense. And had is used with all the pronouns but in the past tense. Okay? Now try to answer this question. She dash two cousins. What will you use? Has, have or had? Yes, has. She has two cousins. Okay, now let's do some more exercises. Page number 62. Fill in the blanks with has, have, had. Remember, has and have in the present and had in the past tense. First, I dash a new idea for my project. It is present tense. So, has or have? We just read with I, we will use have. Yes, so I have a new idea for my project. Yesterday, they dash no food to eat. So, yesterday means past tense. So we will use had. Yesterday they had no food to eat. Third, Anne dash a new doll. She is singular. So Anne has a new doll. Fourth one, Baba black sheep dash you any wool. This one's very easy. You know this rhyme. With you we always use have. Yes, correct. That plant dash new leaves. Now plant is singular. We are talking about one plant and it is present tense. So we will write that plant has new leaves. Next one. His house dash a new coat of paint. We are talking about one house and this is present tense. So what will we use? Has or have? Yes, has. Last one, you dash a new hat. Now we just read, with you we will always use have. You have a new hat. Now rest of the parts you can do it yourself. Next question, rewrite the sentences correctly. Now these sentences are incorrect. You have to correct them. First one, the swans has long necks. Now swans, it's plural noun and they have used has. So is it correct? No, it is plural and present tense. So we will use have. The swans have long necks. This is the way you have to write the correct sentences. He have a fever. Is it correct? No, with he we will use has because it is singular and it is present tense. He has a fever. Next one, you has a tired look on your face. 
with you, what we will use? Yes, in the present tense, you have a tired look on your face. Now, rest of the path, you will do it yourself. Revise this lesson and complete the remaining parts yourself. Thank you. Have a nice day.